Welcome to the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications for the Museum. This is John Ardell, our Curator of History and Research, and we are in the museum's Today's Game exhibit, where we display our most recent artifacts that we've acquired in the museum, and we're going to talk about some really special ones today, John. 2013 regular season just wrapped up, and boy, it was a momentous one in baseball. It's been a great season, and we have a selection of artifacts, especially related to pitching, uh, to show today. When we are collecting throughout the course of the year for the today's game here the locker room at the Baseball Hall of Fame, we're really looking for three things. We're looking for milestones, we're looking for feats, and we're looking for records. They can be individual, they can be team, and we've got some of all, all of that here. Well, certainly pitching has been the key word here in the last few years of baseball, and you can see it right here with our most recent artifacts. Let's jump right into it. 2013 WBC, the Dominican Republic won the title, and we've got an extra special artifact from that. That's right. This is uh, Fernando Rodney's jersey, obviously the closer for the Dominican Republic. Uh, during the regular season, he's closing for the Tampa Bay Rays. This is his jersey from the last two games that the uh, Dominican Republic won. He was the closer for both of those games, uh, and certainly a great way for him to start the season off, and he continued it throughout the year, uh, ended up with more than 30, uh, more than 30 saves. And you can see, the, the, the Dominican fans were unbelievably ignited by this team this year, and it's not the only team, certainly, that was ignited by fans. We got another artifact over here. This glove worn by Andy Pettit on July 1, and of course, Yankee fans, uh, they were thrilled this year when Andy Pettit had a wonderful season. Tell us a story about this glove. Andy Pettit had a great year, and also he set a great Yankees record uh, with 1,958 strikeouts uh, with this glove uh, be, to become the, the greatest strikeout king of Yankees history, uh, having more strikeouts now than Whitey Ford. He finished with 2,020 for the Yankees, uh, in addition to had over 400 more with the uh, Houston Astros during his time there. But an amazing record for someone who is not the loudest pitcher uh, in the pitching crew of, of the, the New York Yankees. Quietly, uh, solidly, Strikeout after strikeout, game after game, year after year. Uh, this is the glove that he set the Yankees strikeout record with. And such a personal artifact to be donated to us. We know that, that players and their gloves, they get very attached to them. Yeah. So it's so generous for him to give us something like this. We will ask for gloves seldom, and even less often will we get them. Uh, and so to be able to get a real gamer glove uh, is just really uh, an extraordinary gift from a player uh, to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Talk about extraordinary. Next artifact, July 13th, Timmy Lincecum throws a no-hitter for the Giants. Certainly an extraordinary uh, event. And for Tim, it was just an unbelievable game where he gutted out a tremendous performance. He threw his career highest number of pitches, over 140 pitches, 148 pitches. This was the cap that he wore in that game. The Giants defeated the Padres 9 to nothing, And this was for Lincecum, obviously, uh, a game that came out of kind of nowhere. You know, he's been the kind of pitcher that you would have expected to see in the past throw a no-hitter, but a great example of how the baseball gods will reach down someday and touch your arm, and you just never know what's going to happen when you go to a ball game. Well, you want to talk about guys who the gods have touched their arm. Here's another one, Garrett Cole of the Pirates. This is a guy who came on the scene as a rookie for Pittsburgh this year, but a very special symbolic cap because on September 9th, Garrett Cole won a game for the Pirates that really stopped a losing streak that was unbelievable. Well, that's true. Garrett Cole, a rookie this year for the, uh, for the Pirates, a, uh, a Tremendous pitcher, tremendous addition to the pitching staff. This is the kind of, uh, of feat that's a team feat. Uh, Garrett Cole actually outpitched you, Darvish, uh, winning the, uh, the game against the Texas Rangers one to nothing. Uh, Cole had a great game, uh, actually had more strikeouts than Darvish did, which is a pretty amazing thing. Uh, any game that you can out, out strike out you, Darvish. Um, but the thing that it was, was great about this was the Pirates obviously have had a long history of great baseball and a much more recent long history of not very good baseball. The last two years, it looked like they were going to break through. This year, they finally did, and now in the playoffs. And to tell that story of the 82nd win for the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2013, this is something that, that the museum will tell forever and ever because it really was the, the, the beginning of something great in Pittsburgh. That's right. That's exactly right. And this is the kind of artifact that we're looking at when we're looking for artifacts that a, a team 
fan will love to see when they get a chance to come here and see in the locker room. They'll go, oh, I remember that game. That was the game when we really knew it was that we turned it around. It looked like we turned it around. It looked like we turned it around. This year, we, we finally did. And so that's the, the beauty of this kind of artifact. Well, here's a very specific individual artifact. September 20th, Max Scherzer wins his 20th game of the year for the Detroit Tigers. Something that seemed inevitable really since the middle of the season because he was racking up wins left and right. His jersey from that game? That's exactly right. It took him actually five times after he got the 19th win, five times to get that 20th win. He ended up this season with 21 wins, three losses, and became with that the winningest percentage pitcher starter in Tigers history, which is just a, a, a remarkable record, uh, but certainly had a great year. And the thing that's really neat about him is that for the past couple of years, he's been a, a, a fine pitcher laboring into the shadow of, of Justin Verlander. This year really came out on his own uh, and demonstrated what a great pitcher he's got and a great future as a young pitcher. The last few years have certainly been a pitcher error in Major League Baseball. These are just five of those artifacts. John, how many artifacts do we take in a year from MLB? Well, from MLB, we get about 200 a year. Uh, and so uh, each one of them has its own story. Each one of them has a story like, like these. Uh, some of them are, are big stories. Some of them are very small personal stories. Uh, we're looking always at every team every year, looking for the great stories that we can add in here to, um, uh, to today's game. We're in touch with all 30 teams throughout the course of the year, so whenever something happens, we're on the horn and uh, seeing if we can't get the, an artifact from it. They come right here into today's game exhibit at the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum. Come visit us or check us out online at baseballhall.org.